Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today it's about Tomophonia, this little plugin by Clef Grant. And when something comes out on the market for VST plugins, it's usually a subjective synth in the form of a wavetable synthesizer because people love wavetable synthesis. I don't know why. Because for me, it's just a, you know, a short sample player and a an subtractive synth attached on and in the, in the form of having uh, multiple filters and effect sections and, you know, you know the deal. Or you get maybe a sampler with a fancy GUI and it's called instrument then, um, but it's really a sampler. But this one here is really a nice, fresh or first take at all at additive synthesis and on the website itself they describe it in a different way that is they talk about waves and wave tables and um, having an audio model and something like this but i think it's just marketing speak to get people or surround people with familiar terms because what it really does, it's, I think, dissecting uh, samples you drag in into harmonics and then save these harmonic values into tables. And you can have multiple tables for each pitch or key or yeah pitch zone. So you can see at the bottom, you have different little um, columns or yeah columns. And each of these columns basically represent in the speak of the website uh, wavetables and you can move through these wavetables you can change the wavetable position for each of these uh, tables of course so when i play a key here you can see the dot moving up or down we basically play this wavetable here and change the position and we can change this here with the tab depth so this is the loop section here so we can change this when i hold the key it just loops this portion here. Or insert here a new dot. When I play a different key, I play a completely different wavetable. Which makes it kind of interesting because it's um it's it, it looks like it's a multi-sampler sampler multi sample sampler um but it's described as a multi wavetable subtractive synth but in my opinion it's more like an additive synth where we have for each of these tables here basically values for each harmonic uh, or data for each of these harmonics because you can interpolate between different points or data points without having actually information about these harmonics, right? So you can change here the pitch. Uh, let's track this down. Right, you can see we moving up here in pitch. We can move across these tables basically and change each of the harmonics and fundamental frequencies. Um, continuously without having actually data for that. So it's interpolating between these data points. I, I, I guess that's how it works. It's just my interpretation of that. And um, you can also drag in your own samples, of course. So I did here uh, some presets. Um, this is here basically my voice. I just load this preset here. Um, I guess I have to just, yeah, the interface is not very, uh, it's not very polished. Also, we can also can't resize here the, um, the plugin itself. It's just this size here and that's it. Uh, so you can see I've uh, dragged in basically my vocals. Um, I just sung in and it analyzes the sample or this multiple samples and puts them into different tables. And um, you can also have here an editor open and change each of these tables. So you can drag audio in here, right? And then it's, when you have all these harmonics uh, sorted into tables, you can play then. Um, So 
to me, to me, to me, it doesn't sound like samples that are pitched. It really sounds like multiple oscillators playing harmonics um, coming from these data points here, and then interpolating between these tables and data points, uh, which makes it highly organic and makes it also highly playable, in my opinion. And this brings me also to some of the drawbacks of this synthesizer here. It doesn't support MPE, which it's something I, yeah, I can't understand because this is a perfect synthesizer for MPE controllers. Um, to change the wavetable position here with the sliding of on, on the keys, right, and and so on. So so it's a perfect synthesizer for MPE. So this should be something that's addressed in another update, in my opinion. Also, the interface needs to be resizable here. And um, when you drag in samples here in the editor, um, let's say I have here multiple piano samples, um, just just some different pitches here, and you drag these in. It says something like this, a multiple files drop will use, um, I can't read that because it's uh, cut off. And then it uses here some weird information, new sorted, new sorted, clears the current audio model and creates a new one with all extracted way. It's pretty small. So we drag this in. And then I have just one sample here. It looks like one sample. Um, and when I use your multiple of these, and just drag in one for one. So let's say if new sorted and merge, you can see we get more tables now. And you can go to each of these tables here and look what's going on there. I drag this one in. So you get more and more information and overtones or harmonic informations in there. Uh, by the way, I just installed this. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So I use this for five minutes. <laughs> so this is not a tutorial. It's just kind of an overview. I want to show you um, that something like this exists at the moment. I haven't even bought this. This is just a demo version. So. Um, so this is this is now we have all the information so we can also go into the tables here, normalize the stuff and you know edit it until it sounds nice, save it as a model. Um maybe save it here as a piano model override. Then go back to the synthesizer here and then try to play it. Maybe a slight pitch in the loop. This is basically piano sound harmonics weirdly played back with an additive synthesizer. Um, so we can start also your different positions in the wavetable. So yeah, at the end. Then we can increase here the voices. So we have four voices now playing, so it's the same sound, but you know, pan to the left and the right, and you can also change a bit of the the pitch for each voice. Humanize it. Normalize it. Make up gain. Everything is there. Hey, bring this down. We have also your reverb in there, which I probably never gonna use. I use Supermassive, as you all know it. So this is a perfect synthesizer for extracting extracting harmonics from sounds, from samples, from your voice, from instruments, from whatever. 
and then make it highly organic and playable. And if you do ambient or you need some pet sounds, this is basically heaven because pet sounds, it's all about um, um, having the right harmonics and having a nice uh, reverb at the end. And then, yeah, make it highly playable. So my idea for this would be make the GUI better, resizable and implement MPE. Uh, maybe it's possible here to get in some MPE information with, con with channel one, control one and control two. Um, but I'm not really sure if this is actually possible. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice fresh take on a synthesizer I want to highlight in a video. So maybe try it out. The link is in the description. Uh, demo version is also possible to download. It makes just mutes the sound every few minutes. Uh, but besides from that, it works just the normal version. Okay, that's it for the day. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video and bye.